I have this stuff because I started 25 years ago. Don't envy me because of this. You need to start today. Start with laundromats. Start with me. Big green monster boxes, 500 ounces of 9999 pure silver from the U.S. Mint, the good stuff. These are 100 ounce bars from the Royal Canadian Mint, actually higher silver purity than U.S. What happens inside of these boxes? What it is, 500 ounces of pure Silver. These are Walking Liberty U.S. coins. Sharp edges, brand new, uncirculated. I'm Danny D'Angelo. Many of you know me as the self-proclaimed king of laundry. Earning cash in that business is phenomenal, but let's talk about investing. I'm a huge child, I have to admit. I love to gamble. If I'm dropping five or $10,000 a day in Las Vegas, it's because I enjoy it, not because I'm trying to pay my mortgage. I love physical investments, be it firearms or land or solid silver or gold. I didn't run out and buy this stuff today. I'm an ongoing investor when it comes to physical gold and silver. Silver's in the news right now, and there's a lot of folks that are excited because they always thought, well, this is out of my reach. I'm never going to be able to invest my money in something like that. The recent excitement over GameStop, if you understand what happened there, that was the little guy, a bunch of Reddit raiders who decided to go online and attack the big guys. Check the other videos on that. I'm here to talk to you about physical assets, gold and silver. Now those smaller groups are actually attacking the commodity sections. It's a little more intriguing to me because I'm involved. Will I run out and buy more silver? No, that's the frenzy. Everyone's excited about it now. I got in at just over $15 an ounce for these 100 ounce bars alone. Have it all in my head. I'm like a steel trap when it comes to money and investments. Here's the thing. How do you dollar cost average physical assets? If you buy this bar for $5,000 and the price drops to 4,000, a lot of folks think, well, that's terrible. I just lost a grand. No, now you have a buying opportunity. Now it's time to go out. If you loved it at five grand, you are making love to it at four grand. Get more. Dollar cost average. How does that relate to laundromats? A lot of you are seeing me a bit late. You already own your laundromat. You bought the place for $200,000, $300,000 and almost immediately realized you were sold a bill of goods. Maybe a year later, you're saying, okay, it's been 12 months. We've done everything we can. We are not profiting. Or you're kidding yourself and saying, we're doing well. Watch my last webinar. A couple comes on and says, we spent 285,000 on our laundromat and we were doing well until COVID hit. Oh, so you paid off the 285. Well, no. So how is that a return on any investment? Start at a zero sum game. Start by discussing long-term leases with landlords. I'm not going to get off the topic of silver, but it's all really the same, isn't it? Taking these physical assets, dollar cost averaging them and doing the same with your laundromat. The average laundromat operator has a ton of money put away from a lifetime of work, be it a doctor, a lawyer, or a candlestick maker. Then he's out on the links and his best friend who happens to be his accountant says, hey Bob, you should look into cash businesses. And Bob does. And Bob goes out and decides on laundromats. Then he finds a business broker and he buys the place. Bob has never stepped foot in a laundromat in his life has no idea what the business is all about, but he goes out and purchases this place, not based on real numbers, based on fluff, pomp, and circumstance. Now, what happens a year later when Bob figured out that he cannot profit, he puts it on the market again and sells that business to another poor, silly sucker. 
don't be a sucker. If you've already got a store, and that's why you're watching me, I'm the self-proclaimed king of laundry, dollar cost average your stores. What happens when you have three or four more stores in three or four more years, and you have obtained them through a long-term lease, you've retooled them with equipment using other people's money, and now you're rolling in the dough. You'll always love that first store. Don't be Bob. I have this stuff because I started 25 years ago. Don't envy me because of this. You need to start today. Start with laundromats. Start with me. I'm pretty sure this hot water heater's got a few more good years left in it.